Making the stage is the hardest part, so everyone that follows me, y'all have an easier time. Uh, real quick, this poem was made last year, last year uh, during the pandemic. Um, it's called Press and King, and you'll see what it's about. A little heavy, uh, mentions of you know police brutality and stuff like that. So that is our first poem that I'm going give to give to y'all. It's called Spare Some Things. Could you spare me some change? Some brain shifting, some heavy lifting, some deep, wait, some brain shifting, some heavy lifting, some deviation from the traditional vision. See that pull yourself up by your bootstraps type of speak? That don't really work for me. How are you going to tell a man pull up your boots when he got chains for shoes? How are you going to pull out the strap on a man while he has his back to you, his hands up behind his head, can't even talk his way out of probable death, laying on the floor, hoping all he gets is cuffed and slight scuffs on his knees instead of being chalked up to just an outline of where he used to be. Chalked up to a message sent by police. If you look like me, you better stay in line before your silhouette is all that's left on these streets. A dad turned de data, destined to be filed away under doesn't matter, under drug user, under all lives matter, under a threat to the law and order. Now tell me, what order would that be? Where's the justice without the peace? Is the law in your peace? Is the order in your hierarchy? If you're gonna spare me, spare me the bullshit. I didn't realize it wasn't a taser, stop capping. My gun was on safety, stop capping. He was threatening my safety, stop capping. He was jogging all suspicious, stop capping. He was inciting violence, stop capping. You busting our asses at peaceful protests, stop capping us. We're defenseless against the judges, the juries, the executioners, executing before we can even take a stand. The sheriff shooting us while we're snoozing, please spare me some change. I know y'all can do it. Cause y'all seem pretty quiet when it's not our movement. Where were y'all at the Capitol riots? Slacking? Okay. Didn't see anything defying the law in their actions? Okay. Y'all compliant with those factions? Okay. I know I'm one man throwing out shade and someone out there thinks I'm blaming them, but that's not the case. Ain't no one specific to blame. There's no one name. It's the system we are chained to. The politics, the corporate, that's why everything's so disproportionate. See, when COVID hit, Everyone's seemingly on the same page. No one out in the field, or everyone's in the house, like we're all house slaves now. But we're still not on the same page. May 25th, 2020 was the first day people knew what Wu-Tang Clan was talking about when they professed to protect your neck. 2020 was the year the world was scared to be. That's the page we've been on for a minute. Bittersweet to see y'all finally reading the page that we've been on since way before COVID began. But now that we're seeing now that we're in your face, walk with us, march with us, breathe with us, and please, spare some change. Cool. So that's me up in your face, up in your foot. Y'all clap me, you can snap, you can stomp, you can go woof if you want. Whatever y'all want to do, you can do that as well. You can do this. Whatever you want to cheer on your fellow classmates, you can do it. But that is the floor. So, I pose the question to y'all. Who would like to go first? Being a student makes me very busy. I roam the halls that are very large. Everybody is up in my business. They are all curious. It's like they are neglected. I think it's very funny. All I think about is becoming an artist. What comes with being an artist? Maybe I'll make some art that's funny. Sometimes I might feel neglected. My mind will be creative, open-minded, and curious. I will make a lot of pieces, each in very different ways, very large. And I have no doubt, I'll be very busy. Okay. My art makes people... Curious? They always ask me where do you get your ambitions that are so large. They come from my... My lack of time. Something that makes me very busy. People project family and friends all gone, act all left neglected. It's crazy how everyone loved me, how I left them so funny. I am me through and through, a human, happy, and artist. Though my ideas are very flamboyant and large, they will never be completed as I am too busy. One could say I have neglected, but I am curious where my other work will take me. 
As an artist, there will always be a reason to keep putting uh, things off. Art and time, a funny pair. And that's it. That's it. Everybody looks at me and thinks I'm loopy, but they know that I'm hilarious. <laughs> Eventually, they'll think I am dumb, and soon I'll be a certified fool. I am like the wind. I am the presence. Ooh. What? This guy has so much presence. He is very loopy. <laughs> His hair getting blown by the wind. It's hilarious. He looks very dumb. Some would call him a fool. People say the Muppet Show is dumb. Kermit gave an undying performance with his presence. People who don't watch are a fool. When I meet the Muppets, I get loopy. I slap my knee, pretending it's hilarious. My mind deceives and lies like the wind. No one controls the wind. Many will try, but they'll be called dumb. These feeble attempts are simply hilarious. Although control would not give presence, even with presence, you're still loopy. But we're friends, so I won't call you a fool. <laughs> this kid show I'm watching is hilarious. Mickey Mouse sounds like a fool, but he has a very strong presence. You can see it's very windy, looks very dumb. Goofy looks very loopy. In our past, we are fools, caught up in our own mind of wind. We're a fool of loopy. Were we smarter, were we dumb? The way Santa would give his presence. Now we look back and it's hilarious. Life is hilarious. If you're hearing this, it might make you a fool, but I hope you enjoy the presence. What? Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> we live in Toronto. We, we sometimes are funny. During our youthfulness, we learn to be respectful and come up with interesting ideas that are unique. My smile is unique. I've always loved Toronto. The way I carry myself is pretty interesting. And my friends say I'm funny. I try my best to be respectful. And I love being beautiful. Any other ideas? I mean, some way interesting. Although I'm not that funny, but I want to make it funny. You can say I'm Like any other, I'm in some way interesting. Although, I'm not that funny. And I won't waste my youth. You could say I'm unique, like everyone else here in Toronto. Always trying to be respectful. I may be a student, but I am quite, quite unique. I'm respectful and I come from Toronto. So I'm trying to answer it first. Yeah, yeah. I don't like to argue, so I choose to be humble. I appreciate my culture. I like nature because it is beautiful. You should always kill people with kindness. I am very loving. I get inspired when I listen to music. Escaping everyone is easy when you listen to music. Choose to be semi humble. Why be hateful when you could be loving? I like to celebrate my culture. Don't be negative. Choose kindness and Stars here are beautiful. People feel strong emotions when they get to music. Mean people don't show kindness. Sit down. Be humble. <laughs> Everything in life revolves around your roots and your culture. I show love and I care, therefore, I will say I'm very. 